Hello and welcome back to our best of IMO mathematical reasoning questions which we have hand picked from the set A and set B of 2012 paper. So let's head on with this section. Remember, we are taking on logical reasoning, mathematical reasoning and everyday mathematics in three different videos. So do look out for our other videos which we have given in our description box below for the logical reasoning and the everyday mathematics section. Well, now it's time for our mathematical reasoning section. So I am going to throw at you a few questions. Take your time. Solve the question and then we'll discuss it together and match our answers. If you need more time, feel free to pause the video and then restart to listen to me again. So let's start with the first question here. So let's look at this. Now here they say that the product of two numbers is 2979. Let's call these numbers A and B. So A times B is 2979 of which one of the numbers is 9. So let's replace an unknown with 9. So we know that A times 9 is 2979. Now in order to find A, we should move this 9 on the other side and when it moves to the other side, the sign changes from multiplication to division. Remember this, whenever any equation is to be balanced from left hand side to right hand side, the plus become minus and the multiplication become division and vice versa. So here, if we divide 2979 by 9, we get the answer of A to be 331. Now, we need to find the difference between what the two numbers is. If one number is 331, Obviously, the difference that means subtracting from 331 will give you an answer which is less than 331. Hence, the answer should be 322 if you just look at the options. So, let's solve to match that as well. So, here we have the difference of the two numbers which will be A minus B which is 331 minus 9 which is 322. So, our option A is right answer which we got it even without solving. To try to use these kind of tips to get to the answer even without solving it. Let's head to the next question. I hope you have caught the trick here. Now here if you look at the first balance, it has two smileys and one box which is 1 to 2 0 grams and in the balance that we need to find, if you notice, we can match up two smileys and one box. Hence, we know that this does contain 1 to 2 0 plus some more weight. Now, what is that some more weight? Let's look at the second balance which has 880 grams for two boxes and one smiley. If you notice, there is exactly two boxes and one smiley left in the final balance. Hence, if we just add 880 to it, we get the final balance weight. So, the total weight would be sum of these two weights which is 1220 plus 880 that is equal to 2100. So, this is your right answer. Let's go to the next section and hope you can get it in the quick time. Well, in this number equation, we first need to solve the bracketed portion, which is 11 times 5, which is 55, and then get the remaining numbers down. Now, try to pick up the easy calculation. So, let's pick up all the subtractions because if you look at the number, they all will lead to 11 because of these numbers. Now, we have the four 11s, then we have to add it to 99 and to 55. So, 99 plus 44 because that's what 11 times 4 is plus 55. Now, again, choose the easier numbers which is 44 and 55. That is 99 plus 99. Now, 99 is 1 less than 100. So, that means 299 is 2 less than 200 which is 198. So, this is the kind of mental maths I want you to use and come to the answer quickly. 
Let's go to our next question. This is a very easy question, so I'll give you less time. Well, here, don't get confused with this curvy lines. Well, if you just plot a straight line and mark the four points of PQRS and then just match up to the numbers that is given in the question, that is P2S is 10,000, P2Q is 720, Q2R is unknown and R2S is 2420 meters. Now, what we need to find is Q2R. Now, the distance Q2R is nothing but 10,000 minus the sum of P2Q which is 720 and R2S which is 2420. So when you solve this equation, you will get 6860 as the length between Q2R which is nothing but 6860 which is your option C. Let's go to our next question and I hope you are able to get the answer quickly and correctly. Well, a while back, I just mentioned about moving the unknowns or knowns from one side of equation to other. So here it is the same scene. Now, when minus 5 needs to be moved to the other side of this equation, it will become plus 5. So, an unknown multiplied by 9 is equal to 715 plus 5. Now we need to also move the next known. So multiplied by 9 will move to the other side making it divided by 9. So your final answer is 720 divided by 9 which is equal to 80. So your answer is option B 80. Remember this tip it will be useful as you move ahead. Next question. Find the answer and take the right one. So the question asked here is to find the clock which shows 2 hours before 11.30 if it is 1 hour slow. Now 2 hours before 11.30 is 11.30 minus 2 hours which is 9.30. So the clock that is 1 hour slow will show 9.30 minus 1 hour which is 8.30 that is shown in option C. So that is your right answer. Next question. So just look at the fraction part. Remember, the fraction means numerator has the number of shaded parts and denominator has total number of equal parts. If you look at all, it is only 4 by 8 which matches up. And if you match up with this circle, it has 4 shaded portions and 8 equally sized portion. And you have one whole. So your option C is the right reading of the fraction and the whole. Next question. Again, there's a smart tip to be used. So take your time and solve this. Well, let's look at this. Now here, the first one is 13 times 12. Now just look at 3 and 2. So if you multiply 3 and 2, your 1's digit should be 6 and not 5. So this is definitely not the right multiplication. Let's look at C. Now 540 into 10. So there are two zeros. So your answer should have two zeros. But that is not happening. So this is also not a right multiplication. Let's look here. Now there should be one zero which is right. And the rest of the number should be multiplied by two. So two times one is actually two. But you see in tens place it's three. So this is also incorrect leaving us with only this and just check 9 times 6 is 54. So the 1's place should be 4 which is correct here. So our D is the right answer. So you don't need to really solve. Just look at the options and you will find which is the right option. 
That is why I had this question in place with least time to see that how you pick the right answer. Next question. Again, this is an easy question. But the important thing here is the signs of equation and the order in which we need to solve. Now remember the order of board mass which is bracket of division, multiplication, addition and subtraction. This is the order that we need to solve. Hence in this, division is the first operation. But before that, let's just find what is P, Q, R and S. Well, P is 100 divided by 2, that is 50. Q is 800 times 1, which is 800. R is 40 times 2, which is 80. And S is 2 plus 5, which is 7. The first operation, as we said, needs to be division. So 80 divided by 80 is 10. The next operation after division is multiplication. So the 10 multiplied by 7 will give us 70. And the last operation in importance is addition. So 50 plus 70 will give you the answer 120 which is option B. So here the important tip is the order of operations that you should follow when you are given something like this to solve. Next question for you. Now, this is not a tough question, but in the range of the popular question series. Now, expansion is something that will be asked to you. Now, expanded number form of 967 is 900 plus 60 plus 7. If you look carefully, we have 900 and we have 7. So, the addition is 60, which is a 6 times unknown number, which is simple, which is 6 times 10. So, your answer is option A. Let's head to this next question. So the questions that I'm throwing at you are not tough, but I want you to solve it in a quicker way. For example, in this case, we know that a pair of apple is 17. So if you place all the apples, you will see that there are four pairs. Four pairs means 17 times four because one pair is 17. Now when you are multiplying this, also take note that 7 times 4 is 28. So your ones place should be 8 which is only 68 in these options. So your right answer is option C which you can get even without having to solve this. Let's head to our next question. Well, here again, there's an equation and we need to find the missing number. So let's first solve the left hand side first. When you divide 729 by A9, you will get 81 and that is equal to the unknown side. Now in the unknown side, let's move the divided by 6 onto the other side. So which will be so the divided by will become multiplied. So 81 times 6 is the unknown. Again, look at 6 and look at 1. So the 1's place has to be 6. So your right answer would be 486. Let's go to the next question. I hope you are able to solve this quickly and correctly as well. Well, first let me just write the weights that are indicated in the scales below. And now, we need to find this equation. Now, if you notice, we already know what is the weight of the circle and cone together. And we need to find the weight of the cylinder. Now, if you look at the second balance, it actually shows the sum of the weight of the cylinder, cone and the sphere. So, if we subtract this weight of the sphere and cone, we get the weight of the cylinder which will be 320 minus 170 which is 150. So, now we know the two portions of the weight that is 170 which is the weight of sphere and cone minus 150 which is the weight of the cylinder which will give us the answer of 20 which is your option B.
Next question. Let's see how quickly you can get this. Well, here they have asked us to find which is the smaller number of the two numbers that make the sum of 828. So, we have two unknown numbers. Let's call them A and B, which is equal to 828. And then we also know that the difference between these two numbers is 206. Now, we need to find both the numbers in order to know which is the smallest number. So, a quick and easy trick here is just add both the equations. Because when you add both sides of an equation, the answer will also be equal. That means left hand side will be equal to right hand side. So, let's add this. So, a plus a is 2a but plus b minus b is 0. So, there is no b. And this is equal to 828 plus 206 which is 1034. Now, 2a's is 1034, so a is 1034 divided by 2, which is 517. Now, let's replace this in our first equation. So, b is a28 minus a, which is equal to a28 minus 517, which is 311. So, the smaller number of the two is 311, which is indicated in options. Well, I hope you have got the trick and the hang to solve these mathematical reasoning questions in the quickest possible way. I will end my video here and do look out for the most important and interesting set of questions in the everyday mathematics section in the next video. Till we meet again, take care.